I felt I just always felt like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I saw me, and yep. I thought, oh. <laughs> That's a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is opening up about her experience using weight loss drugs following Oprah Winfrey's ABC special. The View co-host revealed on the March 19th episode that she did use a weight loss drug at one point for her health when she almost weighed 300 pounds after gaining weight for a movie role. Because, you know, I, I will say, I will tell you, you know, I, I weighed almost 300 pounds when I made Till. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? And, yeah. yeah. And I was, I had taken all those steroids, I was on all this stuff, and one of the things that's helped me drop the weight is the, is the, ma, not Majolica. Munjaro. Munjaro. Yeah. That's what I use. Whoopi went on to admit that she didn't realize how much weight she had gained until she looked at herself one day in the mirror and saw she needed a change. I felt, I just always felt like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I saw me and yep. I thought, oh. <laughs> That's a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> the EGOT winner isn't the only one at the table who shared her experience using Munjaro. Sunny Hostin also admitted she used the same weight loss drug after gaining 40 pounds a few years back because she was shameful over how she looked. What does Oprah use? I, I don't know. She I don't know that she uses used anything. She, she was does doing for it all. Now, though. She didn't say what she uses, but right. she did indicate that she has used these weight loss medications. Mm-hmm. And what, what I got a, uh, from it, I have a similar story. You know, during COVID, I gave 40 pounds. I was horrified. 40? 40. All I did was eat arroz con ca- calamare and rice. You know, I mean, really? I, was, I love to cook, and I found out I love to eat. And I was horrified by the fact that I would have to come out on air. I was. Mm-hmm. And so I also took Manjaro, mm-hmm. and I got all these nasty emails and things. And, what you they know, said? You're too, you're too, too skinny, oh, and, too skinny. And you, why did you do this? And you're taking the drug away from diabetics and, and things like that. And so there is shame when you've gained weight. And I had, I had never experienced that kind of shame before. And what I love about what she said is obesity is a disease, yeah. mm-hmm. right? It's a disease. And, and so when people are saying things to those that... But wait a minute, how is it a disease if you just were eating everything? I didn't have the disease. No, no I didn't have... Did just I, say no, she was eating everything? For, from, but, but for Americans people, who are clinically obese. Yeah. Americans oh, that are clinically yeah. oh, oh, obese. Oh, but not for you. I wasn't a clinically no, okay. obese. No, I was... But she... But 300 pounds. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, I was just I never 40 that. pounds yeah. heavier. And um, <coughs> what, what I will say is, if someone has diabetes, and they're being treated for diabetes, it's fine. When someone has cardi... You know, some sort of cardiac disease, that's fine. They're not shamed for it. But when someone is obese, they are shamed for it. I found that my cholesterol went up to 200 oh, wow. when I gained the extra weight. And I used Manjaro, and my cholesterol is 140 now. Yes. I feel better. I think I look better. And that's what this is about for yeah. people. Right. Whoopi concluded her point of view by sharing why she agrees with the seven year old media mogul's stance on weight loss drugs. The body focus needs to stop. You're damned if you're obese, and you're yep. damned if you lose weight, and you don't look yep. like well, everyone maybe else. Maybe the key is to stop judging everybody. Yeah. By their maybe appearance. That's the, yeah. Maybe, yeah. That's the, maybe that's the key, because, listen, when I realized how much I had put on, I because I never... It, I, felt, I just always felt like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I saw me, and yep. I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, I, my weight has quick, gone too. and come and gone and up and down. And, but it's, ne- it's never been an issue for me I, okay. because I don't listen to what other people say about me. Yeah. So it has never been a problem. For you. But I think it's very hard for people to just know what yep. a normal weight would be. Mm, yeah. you know, because well, we don't, we, we went from this, yeah. you know, to, to, to this. Yeah. And yeah. everyone had something to say, but no one said, oh, well, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Because yeah. it's, it's, it involves so many other things, and I think that it is a matter of how we treat ourselves. Mm-hmm. Oprah's special, Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution, was made to try and kill the stigma surrounded by the recent fad of weight loss drugs. The hour-long special featured several guests who shared their personal experiences with obesity and weight management, including Oprah, who shared her own painful memories from over the years. 
In my lifetime, I never dreamed that we would be talking about medicines that are providing hope for people like me who have struggled for years with being overweight or with obesity. So I come to this conversation in the hope that we can start releasing the stigma and the shame and the judgment to stop shaming other people for being overweight or how they choose to lose or not lose weight. And more importantly, to stop shaming ourselves. I have to say that I took on the shame that the world gave to me. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. And I'll never forget a day in 1990, I saw myself on the cover of TV Guide's best and worst dress list. And I remember thinking at first, oh look, there I am on the cover. And then I read the headline that Mr. Blackwell, the tastemaker of the time, called me bumpy, lumpy, and downright dumpy. I was ridiculed on every late night talk show for 25 years and tabloid covers for 25 years. Here are just a few of the thousands of headlines written about me. Oprah, fatter than ever. Oprah hits 246 pounds. Final showdown with Stedman sends her into feeding frenzy. Oprah warned, diet or die. So in an effort to combat all the shame, I starved myself for nearly five months and then wheeled out that wagon of fat that the internet will never let me forget. And after losing 67 pounds on a liquid diet, the next day, y'all, the very next day, I started to gain it back. 